So if you are in pharmacy school or are thinking of pharmacy as a career, but wonder what is it like being a pharmacist? What are some pros and cons of the job and how much pharmacists make? Then keep watching. I'm your pharmacist Sidra and you are watching Ask Your Pharmacist where I talk all about health and pharmacy. So guys, if you don't know already, I'm a pharmacist myself. I studied for five years in pharmacy school in Pakistan, worked as a pharmacist for a short time over there, but I was not really content about it. Meaning I thought something was missing because pharmacy life in Pakistan is so different from US. To find out how, You'll have to watch my this video in which I have talked about the differences of pharmacy in Pakistan and US. So because of all those differences, I decided to pursue my career as a pharmacist in US and it was quite an adjustment. A completely different process that took me about three years and I have a video on that as well in case you are wondering what's the process, uh, then you can simply watch my this video and learn the steps you have to take to be licensed in US if you are a foreign graduate. I'll put the link in the description for you as well. But today, I'm not talking about any of this. The whole reason of today's video is to talk about pros and cons of being a pharmacist. And yes, you heard it right, the salary of pharmacist. For someone like me, was it worth starting from zero again and getting licensed in US? Honestly, for me, the answer is yes. Some people may not agree because I guess their priorities are different. They are looking at more uh, dislikes of the job uh, than the benefits or this job is just not for them be because this job is a high stress job, which I'm going to touch in a little bit. Uh, but first, let me give you a quick overview of what does a pharmacist do for those of you who don't know. So pharmacists are experts in medicine. They prepare and dispense medications by ensuring that medication prescribed is suitable for the patient, advise patients about medicines, including how to take them, what reactions may occur, interactions, and answer patients' questions. Uh, pharmacists also administer vaccines, perform wellness exam, prescribe medications like contraceptives, travel medications, uh, opioid overdose medications like Narcan. And in addition to that, pharmacists have other job duties, including quality assurance, deal with insurance, inventory control, oversee technicians, and last but not the least, but super important is customer care. Now, speaking of customer care, if you are not a people person, then this job is not for you. And that takes me to the next part of this video, which is about the pros and cons of being a pharmacist. Okay, so dislikes of the pharmacist job. I guess uh, the biggest dislike for some pharmacists is the uh, customer interaction. That can be very stressful at times. Another dislike is that pharmacist job is very hectic. It's a fast pace. You'll have to fill a lot of prescription orders. Like I often fill over 100 prescriptions in an hour, uh, in addition to answering phone calls, doing patient consultations, talking to the doctor's offices. And also pharmacists should be able to work in a high stress and fast paced environment and they should be able to uh, multitask. They should be good at insurance billing and they should be able to supervise multiple technicians. And another thing that I guess some pharmacists don't like about their job is that on top of the hassle and the hard work they have to do, they often live in a fear of liability since it's a job that involves patient care. as the likes about the pharmacist job is concerned well one of the thing that a lot of pharmacists including myself like about this job is that we get to make a big impact in patients lives and that's by managing their medications and healthcare. I personally have experienced and seen my colleagues experience many such pride moments when Patients reach out to us because they trust us for getting answers to their health and pharmacy needs. And I, I guess here I'd like to quote an instance. I, I remember one time 
where one of my patients who um, had an opioid dependency uh, problem and because she was on a very high dose of opioids for many years, she was at the point where her health was deterring. She had to go to ER and she almost died. That kind of shook her and, and at this point she was ready to take action, but there wasn't anybody who she could trust and she could talk about it. She was kind of reluctant to talk about it. But I built that professional relation of trust with her that she felt very comfortable talking to me about her opioid abuse. And so I educated her about the risks and the downfalls of opioid dependency and I provided her the knowledge and support she needed. I worked with her and her doctor on a treatment plan for her and then we successfully tapered the dosage and even to date she is just so thankful she is no more at a high risk of opioid overdose and when she comes to a pharmacy she feels so grateful and she says that she feels better overall she has become socially active and she is more like outgoing now and she just feels great about her overall and that really is a moment of pride and satisfaction when we see that we made a change and impact in someone's life. It's a very, very rewarding career in that sense. I mean, we get to work directly with customers and help them with their health and pharmacy questions. And these customers and patients feel connected to us and trust us because they feel pharmacists are readily available to answer their health related questions in comparison to doctors who they can talk to only when they go to their appointment, right? Another benefit of being a pharmacist is that a lot of pharmacists feel they really get to master their job. They, they do the same tasks day in and day out and deal with so many medications and patients every day that often it's learning on the job. So they really become an expert at what they do and, and true professionals. Here's another benefit of being a pharmacist that pharmacists get to enjoy a wide variety of career opportunities. And the majority of the pharmacists, I would say about 45% work in an independent or retail chain community pharmacy. But you can also work in the hospital setting, nursing homes, uh, pharmaceutical industry, managed care organization. Um, you can be a teacher in schools and colleges or work a state or federal job. I think non-traditional work schedule is another advantage to a career in pharmacy that creates a work-life balance that like you don't have like a eight to five job. Uh, pharmacists are like needed everywhere across the country in many different kinds of capacities, which I think makes it easier for them to find a position that will fit uh, their lifestyle. Like there are uh, day shifts, night shifts, uh, seven on and seven off shifts. Even there is an opportunity to work from home. And I think this flexibility in shifts allows more time off from work and spend that time with family or do other things that you love. Another great thing about being a pharmacist is that you have consistent growth. And it's, it's a requirement for pharmacists to do continued educations, which is like CEs. And we have to do it every two years. And this ensures that all pharmacists remain knowledgeable about new treatment guidelines and recent uh, medications. And in fact, many employers kind of uh, fund this education requirement and they offer their own learning and development courses, which I think is great. Also, pharmacists have a lot of opportunities of growth in career, like you can be a pharmacy manager you, where you can manage just one pharmacy or manage like one or two pharmacists as long as they are within certain uh, distance. And you can also become a district manager, a pharmacy consultant, healthcare supervisor, or a regional manager in a retail setting or a hospital setting or many other settings out there. So of course, as you continue to grow in this profession, you get more experience and more exposure and that not only grooms you, makes you a better pharmacist, but also not to forget it gives a raise in your salary, which takes me to the last part of the video, which I've 
received so many messages and uh, comments from many of my followers asking what is the salary of a pharmacist in US? Is the salary worth being a pharmacist and all the hard work and, and the years they have spent in school? Well, let's find out. So the salary of pharmacist depends on a couple of factors. Uh, number one is the type of pharmacy setting you are working in, like it's a retail, hospital, or pharmaceutical industry. All these pharmacists have different scale, which determines how much they get paid. Secondly, your salary also depends on the location where you work at. Like a pharmacist salary may vary from state to state or city to city. Like if you live in a place where the cost of living is less, then you will get paid relatively lesser compared to a city like San Francisco or LA or New York where the cost of living is higher. So your pay will be higher accordingly to adjust for that uh, cost of living. So generally speaking, your pay is a lot higher if you are practicing in a city where cost of living is high. Uh, thirdly, pharmacist salary also depends on experience and your position. Whether you are a floater pharmacist, staff pharmacist, or a pharmacy manager. And in this case, of course, a pharmacy manager is going to have a little bit higher salary to compensate for a lot of job demands and stress and uh, i am a retail pharmacy manager and trust me it can get very stressful at times now that you have a generalized idea let's look at the actual numbers and see how much pharmacists get paid and i guess let's start with the retail pharmacist as i'm a retail pharmacist and based on my experience and hearing from my colleagues uh, the base salary of pharmacist is anywhere between um, $120,000 to $150,000 annually. But based on this data from salary.com, it can go as high as up to $179,590. So if you uh, cut it based on hour, it can be anywhere between uh, $56 to $86, given that you are working 40 hours a week, um, also, again, it depends on different factors uh, that I mentioned earlier, like location, um, number of years of experience and title. But this kind of gives you an idea of how much a retail pharmacist makes. Now for hospital pharmacists, what I've heard and seen on a Bureau of Labor Statistics, which is a government organization that collects and record uh, job data, the average salary of hospital pharmacist is $129,740 annually. And according to uh, salary.com, the median salary is $137,000 and can go up to $154,000 annually. But from what I have heard, Based on experience and location, the salary of hospital pharmacist is more or less similar to retail pharmacist. So if you were to pick whether to work in retail or hospital, I would recommend not to take salary into account, rather consider the work culture. Like for hospital pharmacist, in addition to dispensing medications, uh, they are also responsible for performing medical tasks, uh, monitor patients, and advise uh, medical uh, professionals. But unlike retail pharmacists, they don't have the stress of dealing with paperwork and insurances. Now, keep in mind that clinical pharmacist, also known as advanced practice pharmacist, is different than hospital pharmacist. The scope of duties are different and the clinical pharmacists are also required to take additional training and education. Therefore, their salary is more towards the higher range than hospital pharmacists and retail pharmacists. Okay, so the next type of pharmacist I want to discuss here is pharmaceutical industry pharmacist. They are a medical science liaison. I don't know much about them, but their average salary I was able to find as of 2019 is somewhere between $144,000 to $199,000 annually. Now, Medical Science Liaison or MSL is a specialized role of pharmacist with the pharmaceutical industry, which provides training to sales and marketing team. So it's not your typical retail or hospital pharmacist job. All right, so that's it for today's video. Today I talked mainly about three different types of pharmacist salary based on their job duties, but there is a lot more out there. But I guess you kind of get an idea what pharmacists do in three different settings and how much they get paid. 
And based on this, you know what to expect when you decide to get licensed as a pharmacist in US. Now, is this salary worth it based on the amount of money you have spent in becoming a pharmacist? Well, if you are a foreign graduate like myself, I think it's totally worth it because the cost of pharmacy school in Pakistan, India, and many other Middle Eastern countries is way lesser compared to US. It's like not even close. So when you come to US, of course, you'll have to take different tests and get licensed here, which will cost you approximately $2,000 to $3,000. So for me personally, um, if I take into account my cost of pharmacy school in Pakistan and license examination here in US, Altogether, it's approximately, I would say, $8,000 to $10,000, which is nothing compared to a student loan for pharmacy schools in US, which I think is up to like $250,000. So as soon as you get the pharmacist job, you'll have to pay off that uh, loan, which does take a couple of years and is quite a stress for a lot of pharmacists, which is why they think that the type of salary um, you get paid as a pharmacist is not worth the amount of loan. But, you know, I've heard there are some student uh, loan forgiveness programs as well. So I still think for the amount of opportunities and satisfaction of patient care, uh, this job is still worth it with a decent pay. But if you're a foreign graduate, then you don't have to worry about the loan. Then being a pharmacist is totally rewarding career for you in comparison to countries like India, Pakistan, and many other uh, Middle Eastern countries where the pharmacy culture is completely different. I think here in US, it is a well-respected job in which you are providing patient care and helping people has a feel good kind of benefit in addition to a job in which you get to have a six figure income which I think is a good money regardless of the debts and taxes. Well, that's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on more videos on health and pharmacy. For now, I'm gonna go and you can maybe watch my this video in which you can find out how to become a licensed pharmacist in US or you can also watch my this video, which is a two part video highlighting the major differences of uh, pharmacy in Pakistan and US. And let me know in the comments, what do you think? Would you consider becoming a pharmacist in US if you're a foreign graduate and start all over from point zero? Or you rather think that it's not worth it?